All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, let's talk about creating a footer. Excuse me, got some caught in my throat. Should I redo it and make another video? <clears throat> oh, I don't think so. The show's going to go on. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and create a footer underneath our content right here. So let's go to our footer tag, and we had this from the beginning. We've always had this. Now we just need to go ahead and put some CSS in here. So let's go ahead and create some CSS. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And there's no period or hashtag because we're applying it to everything in the footer, just like that. And what do I want to do in here? First things first, I want to clear it from all the other <coughs> div tags and stuff like that. All the div tags and our new HTML5 tags. <coughs> I'm really sorry guys, this is really gross, but I got something in my throat right now. And it's probably macaroni or lobster, because that's what I had for dinner. <clears throat> kind of a weird combination of food. But, okay, so let's go ahead and play around with our margin. And let's just kind of go back and forth till we get what we're looking for. Margin top, and let's give it a border. Borders for footers are awesome, because it's easy to differentiate from the rest of the content. It's usually a... In your footers, you have smaller font and stuff like that. And you kind of want to break that away from the rest of your content just so it's easier to dis to distinguish. So let's do border top, and I'll do one pixel. And I'm going to give it like a gray, which I believe is just CCC. It's kind of like a silver. And we'll say solid. I highly recommend doing solid for your border top. Definitely don't do dotted or groove. You can could, you could do groove. You can do anything you want. Who, who am I? Do whatever you want. But I'm just going to do solid. And I'll give it a padding of top bottom, we'll say 1%. And left and right, we'll do 0%. And let's save that. But now I want to go ahead and create a specific class for the text that's going to go inside of here. So I'm going to create a new class. By class, we just need to do a dot. For ID, we do hashtag. For class, we do a dot. And I'll just call this footer text. And inside here, I'll say font size. We'll do 10 pixels. Color black. This shouldn't matter because the browser's default color should be black, but never know. And obviously, text align. Center. Well, not obviously. Sometimes people like putting like their, you know, website by Village Park Source on the left or on the right. But we're gonna go ahead and put it in the center. So let's go ahead now. Go to our index.html, and what we need to do is we need to call that class. So we'll do p class, and what do we call it? I think we call it footer text, just like that. And inside here, we can just we can write whatever you want. We can write copy rights. 2013 Village Park Source. Let's see how this looks. Let's reload this puppy. Okay. Well, hey, we're losing some of our background image. We need to make it bigger. In the next video, we will we'll just clean up our CSS before we get into like the template aspect because now we're going to use this template for the remainder of our services contact and about us page. So make sure you guys have this footer right here and all of this code and all of this CSS and uh, good luck with this guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.